Hey guys, so I just picked up this drill press as I mentioned yesterday in one of my videos. Um, my next project. This is, uh, let's get it to focus, the Atlas 1020, Atlas Press Company, Kalamazoo, Michigan, made in USA. Uh, I can almost make out the serial number. This looks like 0F3149 is the serial number. Um, obviously, this has some condition issues, and I knew that. Um, it needs two belts, which is no problem. The motor does run fine. Obviously, I tested that out prior to purchase. Uh, I got this for a really good deal. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't I wouldn't have bought it. You know, um, it needs a nameplate here, so I'll go ahead and order that on eBay or whatever. Not a big deal. So. There's our switch. Let's see if I can get that to focus on there. Arrow Hart, Hedgeman Electric Company. There's our switch. Uh, and there's the motor. It's uh, Leland Faraday, third horsepower. And this motor uh, can be at 115 or 230 volts. Um, tank of a motor, just big. I mean, it looks like the size of a one horsepower motor. Uh, capacitor start. And, uh, man, this thing is just cool. So I got it, I, you know, like I said, I got this for a really good deal. It's a uh, cool piece. I'm going to assume it's uh, Jacob's Chuck on there. Um, so this will be the next project. I'm going to take it apart, just like the other one. Pop the badge off, take it all apart, clean it right up. Get it looking perfect again. So. I was wondering why that wasn't springing back up. I had to, to tighten this, and apparently that puts some tension on the, uh... But, anyways. So, there's our base plate. There's our shelf. Uh, let's see if I can read that chuck. Yeah, that's a Jacobs. Similar to the chuck on the one I just finished there. So... How cool is this though? You can see it had some kind of uh, logo there. Yeah, this is just cool. A little thumb wheel to spin, adjust that, set your depth. That's where the spring's located. So yeah, I literally just got this dropped off and I'm kind of just exploring it. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to start it, but uh, soon as possible I'll get on it this is my sixth drill press I have the uh, Dunlap I think it's a Sears Craftsman Dunlap the one I just finished I have the hand crank one uh, let me stop talking about my drill presses <laughs> uh, yeah so so there you have it what a cool piece It's just a little, you know, surface rust. There's no damage anywhere on it, uh, with the exception of the belts. But you know, they're they're the belts are consumables. So, you know, these are easily easily changed. So no problem at all. But you got a pulley there with the actual shaft. And a pulley here. And I guess this pulley is just kind of resting on a, a shaft there and it doesn't spin anything, but it just kind of transfers 
the belt to the motor that way and then to the drive shaft that way. So three pulleys when they're there and there. So I don't know. I think this is pretty cool, guys. So as soon as I uh, click off this video, I'm going to go online and see what I have to. Uh, hopefully, it's 10 bucks or less for a little a little badge. Uh, I know it's, I think it's uh, like a cursive type of font, and I believe it's red, but, you know, the badge that goes right there. I'll definitely want to get one of those to pop on there. That'll be like the icing on the cake. You know, it'll still look good when I'm done without it, but uh, I'm going to want it. Um, yeah, so... Everything will get taken apart and cleaned up and oiled. Um, the motor needs a new power cord, and that is not a problem at all because uh, most every old power tool that I buy needs a, a power cord. So I'll get uh, two lengths, one from the motor to the box and one from the box, obviously, out with a plug. So not a problem. Guy, the guy that sold me this was super cool. Um, he went way down on his price, you know. He just, uh, he was waiting on a reasonable offer. He didn't want somebody shooting him a $20 offer, you know. Some people just don't, some people don't understand the value of uh, this older stuff and appreciate it. Um, I do, you know, I know this, this stuff has value. It's it's collectible. Uh, it's made better I just don't know where you would go to find a machine like this uh, certainly not anywhere local or you know your Harbor Freight or Lowe's so so I love it super cool these look like set screws I'm, I'm looking at them I, I don't like how how long they are I'll replace those Probably with um, square head bolts, short ones, um, that will either sh uh, square head bolts or um, Allen head bolts. And they'll be short enough to where it'll contact uh, the shaft, but it won't stick out two inches. Uh, no reason for that to stick out like that. I don't need those sticking out that far, so... Uh, yeah, so that was the highlight of my day getting this. Look at this. So, good stuff. Looks like it's got some anti seize on it. So, oh, let me show you. I also snagged a couple oil, a uh, few oiler cans. You walk over. So, uh, I have 16 oiler cans in the house, and I picked up three. From that same seller. So this makes um, 19. Now it looks like only one of them is good. This one here is an eagle, this blue one. And uh, beautiful blue paint. I mean, look at that. It's going to have to get cleaned up. But um, beautiful blue paint. Um, Excellent condition. There is no dents anywhere on the metal. The spout is perfect. Um, this little guy. This is my only my only um, oiler can this size. Very small. It's got to be an inch and a half probably. Somewhere in that area. There's not too much flex there on the on the bottom. Uh, the spout is dented. Uh, there's a hole in the spout. Whether or not I can fix that remains to be seen. Um, at the very least, I'll probably try to pinch that at least more round than it is. This wouldn't be one that would get used anyways. This would be just collected. Um, and then the last one. And it, this one has no... Uh, maker marks that I can see right off the bat. I don't know if there's something hidden under that dirt and stuff there, but the last one is 
just a, another can. It doesn't have a maker mark on it either. So it's looking like the two of them are no names and the one's the Eagle, but uh, the price was right. I got the whole package for uh, super cheap. And he dropped it off to me, so that's even more of a bonus. This may have been cut short. It's got a short um, spout, and that's going to be definitely too wide. So take a look at that and see if uh, there's something I can do about it. But old red paint. And it looks to be generic. Let's see if I can see what's going on in here. Yeah, it's not really... Yeah, a little bit of clean oil at the bottom. Doesn't look like I can do much with the spout. So this guy will probably just be uh, another one for the collection. To be honest, I don't use any of my oil cans yet. Uh, I plan on using them, but for now I have, they're just sitting in the, in the house there on display. But I would like to at some point keep a couple out here in the garage because uh, I'm always, I'm not necessarily using oil so much for, for cutting. I, I do occasionally when I'm um, drilling through steel or tapping steel. But uh, a lot of the oil that I do use is for tools, putting on to rusty tools that I cleaned up. So anyways, there's the oiler cans. And again, one last look at this beautiful drill press. And I'm super happy about this purchase. And I can just I can just see it now, you know, how, how it's gonna turn out. So I appreciate you guys as always. Have a good day. Thanks.